You ever get the feeling like your friends all seem to be more popular than you? Don't worry. They absolutely are. On average, your friends do have more friends than you. But how is this possible? And how could you being less popular than your friends actually help scientists predict disease outbreaks? It's called the Friendship Paradox, and I'm going to tell you all about it. STEM Bestie to STEM Bestie. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. On average, your friends have more friends than you. But it's not personal, it's math. I was hoping it was gonna be magic just this once, but no, we continue to be restrained by reality. The math stuff can be a little complicated, so let me explain. Imagine a classroom with five people. The coolest person might be friends with everyone because she's so outgoing and kind. Let's call her Shermanda. Picture Shermanda as a node in a network connecting to everyone else. Now, let's look at some of the other classmates. Kayla is friends with Shermanda, of course, but she's also friends with Aaron. Kayla has two friends. Aaron is friends with Kayla, Shermanda, and Elena. So Aaron has three friends. Elena is friends with Aaron and Shermanda. So two friends. And there's someone who's only friends with Shermanda. Let's call him Brendan. He's shy. So adding up all the friendships, 12 in total, and dividing by the number of people in the network, five, we get an average of 2.4 friends per person. We've all had that one friend that's more like four tenths of a friend, right? But now we need to find out on average how many friends our friends have. Shermanda's friends together have eight friends. Kayla's friends have seven total friends. Aaron's friends have eight friends. Elena's friends have seven, and Brendan's friends have four. A reminder, the five classmates have a total of 12 friends between all of them. Adding up all their friends, we have a total of 34 friends. So on average, a friend's friend will have 34 over 12 friends, or 34 divided by 12, about 2.83 friends. So on average, people in this class have 2.4 friends, but their friends have an average of 2.83 friends. That's because the popular people, like Shermanda, skew the numbers by being so popular. She's in everyone's network. You might be thinking, hey, I know my friends, and they have a normal amount of friends. But this can be skewed by people with few or even no friends. These people won't even be on your radar since they have very few connections to a larger network. The friendship paradox can be extrapolated into all sorts of other networks. On social media, most of the time, the people you follow have more followers than you. In relationships, your significant other will, on average, have had more relationships than you. And a study out of the University of Finland even found that for most people, their friends are richer and happier than them. So, Outside of fueling envy, what use does this paradox have? Is it just a novelty to make most of us feel bad? Well, it turns out it can actually help track and prevent disease pandemics. In a social network, the people with the most friends, the nodes with the most connections, are more likely to contract a disease like the flu, which makes sense. You normally contract an illness from someone else. A Harvard study in 2009 asked 319 undergrads to name three close friends. That group of named friends was 425 people. During the flu season, these two groups were closely tracked, and a flu outbreak among these 425 people was discovered almost two weeks before it would have been found with normal methods like random sampling or checking public health records. Rather than mapping out the entire university network to find the individuals that should be tracked for infection, this paradox helped researchers more simply hone in on the people central to the school's social scene. If you catch infection in these individuals, you'll likely be able to identify disease spread before it hits the school population at large. Typically used indicators often lag behind the spread of an epidemic, so by understanding how the friendship paradox works with human friendship networks, we can have a heads up on outbreaks. Another fun fact is that the friendship paradox also works in reverse. In a 2023 paper, researchers demonstrated the enmity paradox. They found that your enemies, on average, have more enemies than you. I hope you don't have any enemies, but if you do, 
It's kind of comforting that they have more enemies than you, right? So next time you're feeling down because it seems like everyone's more popular, richer, and happier than you, just remember, it's not your fault. It's math. And on average, most people out there are feeling the same exact way. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.